to the Democrat mayor of Austin, Texas, Steve Adler. There he is right there, caught sleeping at the funeral of fallen police officer Anthony Martin. Amber Lee Martin, the officer's widow, saying, quote, I've been trying to be the strong woman Tony would want me to be, but this Mayor Adler was crushing. My family needed to see him honored, not disrespected. My husband, their father, who doesn't get to ever come home again, doesn't get to go to sleep next to me ever again, doesn't get to retire in four years from now. Justin Berry is a member of the Texas Commission on Law Enforcement and a senior officer at the Austin PD. He joins me now. Justin, after all the ways that this mayor has disrespected police, from defunding to eliminating your stipends, which you used to live on, did him falling asleep at a cop's funeral even come as a shock to you? It, it did, actually. You know, just from as a, on a human level, it's hard to comprehend that a person would uh, fall asleep during someone's uh, memorial service like that. So, yes, it was very shocking. Here's what the mayor had to say in response. I want to express my deepest apologies to the family of Officer Martin. Officer Martin died 10 days ago and will forever be honored as a hero. This moment should be about him and his family. Is that the best apology he could come up with? No, it was, uh, that's not even a real apology. And, and to not even call um, uh, Officer Martin's wife and, and talk to her personally about it, I think that in of itself is it speaks volumes to just how little he truly cares. And yet again, it just shows more empty words out of this mayor that time and time again has either used uh, funerals or other ceremonial occasions uh, for, for political uh, opportunity to be seen in photos. And it's, it's, it's disgusting, quite frankly. Bigger picture, Justin, why would a mayor who relies on his police force to protect the city that he is ultimately mayor of disrespect and demoralize the department consistently like this. It makes no sense. No, this has been going on from him since about 2017, and it doesn't make sense. It started there, and then it started with the uh, the riots of the summer of 2020 when he's out there marching with people that assaulted our officers, destroyed our community, looted and vandalized businesses in our community, and just further tried to throw fuel in the fire to build distrust uh, with the men and women who proudly wear uh, the badge and serve the city of Austin. And so it, it's, it's very infuriating and very hard to comprehend that. And now you're looking at our homicide rates are soaring, they're going through the roof. We're having an extreme staffing crisis right now. We're back at staffing levels from uh, 2006 now. And, you know, you're having to pull officers like Officer Martin off their primary units and send them back to taking calls on patrol. You know, Officer Martin was one of our main uh, DWI officers at one point in his career, and then went on and worked in our motors division, um, you know, making sure that we had safe roads and safe streets and trying to do his best to reduce the numerous traffic fatalities that are taking place in our community. You know, he gave, he was a life of service. And, you know, I, I think it's, it's, it's very infuriating that the mayor who had the audacity to show up to his funeral in the first place would then go there and fall asleep and I, and I think, you know, Officer Martin's wife s said it perfectly. How do you find comfort? How do you find the sleep during a one hour funeral service, especially as his daughters literally poured out their hearts uh, to all of us? And it, 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 it's, it's hard to it's hard to find polite words for, for, for anything about the right. mayor at the moment. Our condolences with you and your department. Justin Berry, thank you for coming on. We appreciate it.